And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a manual dripping text effect. You can use the filter, I've already made a video about that, but we're going to do it manually this time. It gives us more freedom to adjust it. Just create your text, size it up holding Ctrl and Shift. Have the type tool active and you can set the style, you want to have a bold style. And you can also pick a different font if you want to, I'll just stick to the default here. Next step is crucial, make sure it's selected, go to path and then object to path and at the bottom you can see the text is turned into a group element now. And now we can adjust it with the tweak tool. You have to play around with these three values, so with force and fidelity and you need this push parts of paths in any direction active. The exact values, they depend on the size of your text and the font that you use, but 5 for width, 40 for force and 50 for fidelity. That works well for me. Just left click and then drag. Sometimes when you hit a specific edge, the entire letter is transformed. Just press Ctrl Z and then readjust the starting point in this letter. And sometimes there is a glitch in Inkscape where you can't really adjust the letter, at least in my version right now. So I was able to get around it if I just select it again, use the cursor to move it a little bit around and then use the tweak tool once more. If you give it a different fill color, you can see that the dripping parts are also refilled with that color. If you want to have your drips have a different color than your text, you can create a second text element. Then select the first one and copy the width. So Ctrl C, select the second one and paste it and make sure that the lock icon is active so that the height is adjusted as well. So now it has the same size and you can overlay it. And the drips have a different color now. So you can work with different shades, maybe red, something like this. And this is a general way to create this manual dripping text effect in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.